Ready? California sea cucumber. Um, I've just picked this up from the water down there. It was only about a foot deep, so very easy to grab. And it's edible, so this is very, very tasty. You cut the sea cucumber open and you eat the inner muscle and it's a bit like clam. So you just fry that up in the pan. Um, yeah, so sea cucumber is another Pacific Northwest delicacy from the sea. So, so this is a sea cucumber and it is edible. I'm just going to show you how to prepare it. This is my first time doing it, so don't judge. Um, so you, um, I'm just trimming the head and the tail eventually and then cutting it in half to remove the guts, as you can see. <laughs> it's a bit freaky, isn't it? Um, but I swear that this is going to be delicious. So um, yeah, you can use scissors or a knife or whatever. I hand harvested this um, because it was a low tide, so it was easy to grab. It's a California sea cucumber. Um, so those ones are, are definitely edible. You can um, dehydrate them and use them as a flavoring, or you can do what I'm going to do, which is remove the inner muscle and, um, and scrape the skin. So I'm gonna try both parts of the sea cucumber for the first time, actually. So yeah, so there we go. The guts are now removed, and that's the inner muscle, the white right there that I'm gonna try to <laughs> extract from it. Um, yeah, so here we go. Okay, this is all an experiment really, but the inner muscle here that I'm removing um, was pretty easy. You just do it like you would remove uh, the skin of a fish. So angling your knife and holding one end. There it is, easy. This is also a pretty small sea cucumber, so a larger one would have a larger inner muscle. Uh, now I'm scraping the slime layer off the back of the skin of the sea cucumber. So that was pretty easy as well. It's really firm and um, yeah, it's got quite a, almost like a squid-like tooth to it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna remove that slime layer and then I'm going to slice it up and fry it in the pan and see how that goes. <laughs> like I said, it's, this is new to me as well. So yes, this is it all chopped up. I'm going to fry it. Just, I just have a little bit of sunflower oil in the pan um, to cook it for the first time. Um, and what I did find as well with the skin, so that's what I'm putting right now, is it might have actually done well if I tenderized it more. So maybe pounded it a bit because it was really, really um, crunchy. Um, so yeah, and also maybe gave it more of a rinse and removed more of that sort of extra slime layer. All right, so this is my first bite of uh, sea cucumber that we just cooked in just a little bit of oil because I wanted to just taste it fresh without any spices. I would have put garlic in it usually, but. Mm, salty. A bit like calamari, I would say. That's pretty delicious. So yeah, this is the inner muscle. That looks to me the tastiest part of the sea cucumber. The other stuff that I fried kind of turned into a slimy mess. So I don't know, I don't know about the rest of it, but this part is good. So thumbs up on the sea cucumber. Okay, just gonna try a little bit of the Slimy jus. Mm. Very salty. Good flavor, but a little bit, a little bit slimy for me. Good flavor. Could be used for soup or soup stock, maybe. I might actually use that. That's good. So what I found with the sea urchin was that the inner muscle is really tasty. So you can just fry that up and eat it. And then the outer sort of skin layer, after you scrape off the outer sort of viscous layer, you can use in uh, soup stocks and that sort of thing. It adds a lot of really nice flavor and a little bit of body. So sea cucumbers give, um, I don't know, they're very good for you. So I've heard, but they're also tasty. So they're worth a try for all of you foragers out there. And if you want to check out some of my sea foraging uh, classes online or in field in Vancouver, uh, check out the swallowtail.ca website. 
see you online or in person. See ya.